Hello educators! By the end of this video, you will understand the general information that you need to know in order to pass the RECA subtest 3. To read the full blog post or check out any of the resources presented in this video, click the links in the description below or simply visit www.recatest.com, the official test prep site for the RECA test. The RECA subtest 3 structure includes domain 1 that covers planning, organizing, and managing reading instruction based on ongoing assessment, as well as a case study constructed response question. Domain 1 includes a total of two competencies, and there will be approximately 25 multiple choice questions on the test, as well as a case study that requires a 300 to 600 word response. Each multiple choice question is designed with four possible answers per question. And it's important to note that most often there are two sound solutions, but it's your job to select the best answer. Remember that there's no penalty for guessing, so give each problem your best shot. And lastly, make sure to read the entire problem quickly yet thoroughly. Scoring of the multiple choice section is calculated electronically, whereas a trained person judges the overall effectiveness of your case study response based on RECA content specifications for the constructed response question. Now, let's have a look at the type of information you'll have to know about Domain 1 in order to pass the multiple choice section of your RECA subtest 3. To do this, we have taken actual slides from our online and self-paced RECA course, which is the best way to learn the material to pass your RECA test. If you're interested in learning more, find the description below and click the appropriate link that best suits you, or simply visit us at recatest.com to view all of our informational posts, as well as our RECA test prep resources. Now, here we are at the cover page for Domain 1, Planning, Organizing, and Managing Reading Instruction and Reading Assessments. Let's begin. Within Domain 1, there are 10 key outcomes you need to know. Be able to, number one, define principles of standards-based reading instruction, meaning the instruction needs to be direct and explicit based on the California content standards. Number two, be able to identify key factors in differentiated reading instruction, meaning we use the balanced literacy approach. Number three, describe how to organize instruction to meet the needs of all of your learners, which means we use flexible group individualized instruction, whole class instruction, and we use scaffolds or supports to adapt material to best suit the needs of all of our learners. Number four, be able to describe components of effective instructional delivery, meaning we use a structured and guided practice where the teacher models, the student practices, and then the teacher provides feedback to support the student. Number five, be able to discuss how to engage and motivate students, meaning use a positive, stimulating environment to increase learning and use book clubs, literature circles, and author studies to motivate our young readers. Number six, be able to describe strategies for promoting and monitoring independent reading, meaning we teach students how to select books at appropriate reading levels using the I plus I strategy. Number seven, be able to define support systems to promote the skilled teaching of reading, meaning we use sustained silent reading and the reader's workshop model. Number eight, be able to teach students to select books at the appropriate reading level which means we teach students to select books at their appropriate reading level by using either the Goldilocks rule or the Five Fingers rule, both work. Number nine, be able to select the three types of reading assessments and describe the purpose of each, which means know the three types of reading assessments that include entry level, progress monitoring, and summative assessments, and then be able to tell the difference between them as well as state the purpose of each. Finally, number 10, be able to define a student's reading level, meaning know how to define a student's independent reading level versus their instructional reading level versus a student's frustration reading level. If there's been any part of this presentation so far that you feel like you still need to learn further, or if you wish you felt more confident toward the RECA content specifications, take our online self-paced RECA test course which is the best way to learn the material that you need in order to pass your RECA test. Now, if you're looking for a simple to read and easy to learn format that both presents the information you need to know to pass your RECA test, but also allows you to assess your understanding of the RECA content specifications, 
grab a copy of our study guide because they not only include the information you need to learn, but also they include practice questions and an answer key to check if you're ready for your RECA test. We have study guides for each RECA subtest to allow you to focus on the subtest that you're currently studying for. You can quickly and easily purchase these study guides at our website at recatest.com where you're given instant access upon purchase. However, if you still need to pass all three of the RECA subtests, we highly recommend that you save money and time by simply starting with the official RECA test study guide that includes subtests 1, 2, and 3 all together. Again, you will receive instant access upon purchase so that you can start studying the moment you buy it. The link to our official study guide is in the description below as well as can be found at www.recatest.com. Finally, our best and most complete, most discounted offering is our bundle package that is a combination of the entire RECA test study guide for subtests 1, 2, and 3, as well as our complete online course. We always say that there's nothing worse than getting your test result in an email, opening it up, and finding out that you need to restart your entire studying process all over again because you didn't pass. Go ahead and get this bundle and nail out your RECA test on your next try. Links to the materials, everything mentioned in this video are in the description below as well as at our site. www.recatest.com, the official test prep site for the RECA test.